Hello, this video is for teachers wanting to set Power Maths work for children to do at home. I'll quickly show you how children can access textbook and practice book pages and some videos as well. We're sharing links with schools by email. There's a link for each year group, year one to year six, and you can share these links with children and parents. So for example, if you follow the year two link, this is the page that you'd arrive at here where I am. And you can see we've got Power Maths Year 2 available. And if we click on that, we get to two tabs here. You can see the textbook is on the student books tab. And there's also a student resources tab with the practice book. So let's go into the textbook. You could set children new lessons to look at or ask them to look back at work they've done throughout the term. We are at the end of the spring term so if i go if i go back to the to the first page you'll see when you open it which is the the, the first page there and then onto the contents um we're at the end of the spring term so we're going to look at the fractions unit unit 10 and you can see that you can find that on page 154 so i'll move on to to that now initially that the first two pages of the unit are a unit starter which goes over some vocabulary that children are going to need in this unit and after that there are four textbook pages for each lesson and you can see we're on lesson one in unit 10 looking at the top of the page it's helpful to look at that to, to marry up the pages with the practice book pages and we are on the, the first two pages of, of the four pages of the, of the textbook for the lesson. Um, each lesson in Power Maths helps children build a deep understanding of one small step in their learning before progressing to the next step. The textbook pages introduce a new concept and provide consistent models and images to support children's understanding and some scaffolded practice as well. So the first page introduces the maths, and I would look at that first page in single page view, which you can do down, down in the bottom left here. So this discover page, children and parents can read through this together and have a go at the maths. And then when you've had a go at the questions, go back to the double page view, and there you can talk through the, the share page as well. Once you had a go, you can discuss how you did those problems on the Discover page and then work through those uh, examples on the Share page. And then on the next two pages after that, there are some questions in this Think Together section, which slowly get more difficult. So you can work through those and discuss those uh, as, as parent and, and child. Um, and, and then Finally, you've got to the challenge at the end of this section, which should be okay for all children to have a go at once they've worked through the steps that lead up to it. So once you've worked through all those four pages, the next thing would be to work through the practice book pages for this lesson. So if I click away from that and go to the student resources tab, that's where I'll find practice book B and I can open that there. Now actually, as this opens, you can download it there. And I've downloaded it already, so I'm just going to go to my extra new window here. Now, children or their parents will be able to download this practice book unit and print it so they can then write into the, uh, write into the pages directly but you don't have to do that. You could just work from the pages on, on screen if you wanted to. Now, following on from the textbook pages, there are three practice book pages per lesson. And the practice book pages provide that next stage of intelligent practice, building towards a challenge activity, you can see on the, on the second page, and a reflect activity as well on the, on the third page, where children can show their understanding in their own way. And having worked through these three practice book pages, which children can do independently, 
the, the next thing you're getting to there in the practice book is the next lesson. So um, having worked through, through the lesson, uh, the next day you could go back to lesson two in the textbook and then having worked through those, come back into the practice book on lesson two and work through those pages. So one thing to mention when I was opening the practice book, you might have noticed there's also a School Jam Maths Help video. Now, School Jam is an app that helps parents engage with what children are learning in class. So if I open that and start the video, these videos are just here for year one and two. And this helps parents understand what year, children, year two children are learning in school. You play it down there um, and you can look at that later, of course. So I've just shown you the year two link, but there are links, as I say, for all the year groups, year one to year six. And there is actually a seventh link as well, where you can get a teacher unit video to go with each practice book unit. And the teacher unit videos introduce the learning in each unit for teachers. So we've done it as a separate link so that teachers can decide whether they want to share these with parents to, to help them to help children at home. And in case you want to know which practice book units we provided for each year group, I can just show you that now. It's the last unit of the spring term in each case. So we've got those listed here and also in case it's helpful, you can see which textbook pages um, where you'd start in the textbook to match with each practice book unit. And finally, just to say, if you don't have the links via email, if you haven't received them, you can get them from our website. Just uh, put into a search Pearson Primary Coronavirus and you'll find the page and then you can click request access to primary resources to get um, to request access for power maths and get the email sent to you. So I hope you enjoy using the materials and please do let us know how you get on.